Hey everybody, it's here from GimmeAct.com. Here we are today back in the Doom Course update for Dead by Daylight, going for the Adeptory achievement. This one's going to be done from the Survivor side. You are going to need the update's new Survivor in the form of Tori to get this done. So make sure you grab her from either the DLC pack or from the in-game store. Once you do have her, you are also going to need to get her to a minimum of level 10. This achievement is to escape a game using her with a loadout consisting of her three unique perks and nothing else. The perks you want to run and only run are going to be Clean Break, Treacherous Crows, which is going to be an invocation perk, and then finally Shoulder the Burden. You are going to want to leave the fourth slot empty if you have that available to you, and you can do whatever you want for items, add-ons, or offerings. Make sure you get into the game, and then we're going to need to escape using this loadout. Now, when it comes to this build, it isn't going to be super useful in terms of helping you escape. It's going to be a more altruistic build that's meant to support your teammates at the cost of you. So I am going to recommend that you just take the high road and stick to your good old Dead by Daylight fundamentals, get on those generators and repair them as quickly as possible while trying to avoid the killer, basic stuff. That being said, when it does come to actually using the perks, these are going to be the scenarios where they are going to come into effect. First one up is going to be more or less a time saver when it comes to this scenario where you and a teammate are both going to be injured. You're going to move to the border of the map in order to try to heal one another. What's going to happen is you want to make sure you are the first one to do the healing. So make sure you heal your teammate and then after you heal them, more likely than not, they're going to return the favor and heal you what you can do instead is you can put the broken status condition on you and then you should fully come back to health in about a minute or so this isn't going to really be worth the trade-off it's just going to be more of a time saver for your teammate but more likely than not it's going to be well worth their time to heal you as they are going to be returning the favor after you heal them so it's not going to be worth putting the broken status on you for about a minute which is going to make you super duper vulnerable her second perk is going to be an invocation perk. These are usually never worth your time as they're going to require you to head down to the basement, which is not only going to make you super duper vulnerable, it's also going to take you away from the objective and they're going to be a big waste of time, especially when the trade-off isn't going to be super great. This perk is just going to reveal the killer's position whenever they pass by a crow, so not worth taking the time out to activate it. As for her last perk, this one's also going to come out of a sense of your own altruism. You're going to be able to use this perk whenever unhooking another teammate. You're going to be offered an alternative unhook method, which is basically going to allow you to take one of their hook states and then add it to one of yours. Obviously, this is only going to be available to you if you have fewer than two hook states on you already, as you aren't going to be able to add any additional hook states to you after that. So this is only really useful in the early game or if you happen to be in a game where the rest of your teammates are going to be well ahead of you on hook states. So if you do want to sacrifice one of yours to help one of your teammates out, feel free to take advantage of this. But once again, it comes at the sense of your own altruism. And at the end of the day, our goal is to just escape. So whether you decide to play selfishly or bear the world's burdens, once you do manage an escape, you should be good for the achievement. Either escape method is going to work, either escaping out of one of the two exit gates or taking the hatch if that situation presents itself. As long as you make it to the results screen with the escape status using this build, you should be good for the achievement. The build just needs to be equipped. It does not have to be used in any practical way in order for it to count. So make sure you hit up that result screen, and then once you have that escape status, the achievement is going to unlock right here. This one is going to be for 20 gamer score, and that's all there is to it. 